Hi, welcome to the show. I'm Mike Miller. I've created a show called The Other Side, and the purpose of the show is to bring on local accomplished musicians and tell about their history, their lives, their craft, and what they're doing now, what they've done in the past, and what they have coming up. And today I'm very honored to have two guests here with me. I have Ro and Aaron. How are you guys doing today? Good. Thank you. And uh, I've seen you around for several years, some of your live performances and stuff like that, and and you guys have really been busy. You've uh, toured. You've been to Georgia, Florida, Milwaukee, and and um, play around here a lot. And have a live album called um, In Vivo. In Vivo, mm -hmm. two ten is part of the name. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because that's when it was. It's a live recording. So uh, I mean, it, it's a live album that was recorded. I think the first and second show we ever had. So. Oh really. Uh, Where did y'all record that at? We recorded at Andy's and at Cool Beans. Oh, Utah, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. So you play a lot in Denton as well. We did at the time. 2010, we were playing in Denton often. Yeah, yeah. I like that video, the uh, editing, the the one uh, live at Andy's. Right. Forever Young. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. All the, all the videos on our uh, site, we, we edited and put out. So. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys did the editing like with this, something Correct. like like you're in an egg or something. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Yeah, I just put the camera basically if you go to Cool Beans, you know it has two stories. Yeah. So I just put my camera on top and face down and then just recorded whatever that was, took it in, edited it myself. So. Oh really? Yeah. And the sound, so yeah. Mix the sound as well. Yeah, I really like that. I think that came out really good. Yeah, thank you. And we did the same thing for uh, Cool Beans and you saw the um, uh, what was it, Shape of Hope? Yeah, yeah. That was recorded there, and then I took a footage from the uh, the immigration rally that went on in 2010 in Dallas. Was oh, it was 2010 it? Or, or early 2011? Can't yeah. remember. But um, yeah, it was a protest for for the law that they were about to enforce in Arizona at the time. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, about I think 15,000 people were there. So. Oh really? Yeah. Very nice. So I took that and mixed it in with the video. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you um, you fronted several bands around here in Texas and in I Mexico and, as well, mm -hmm. and um, then you guys met a couple of years ago and mm -hmm. you played classical flamingo guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, when did you first start writing songs? Uh, I would say I started writing songs as lyrically yeah. as early as uh, I mean I can I have actual. Um, Hardback copies of writing stuff when I was like maybe seven, oh, really? six, seven years old. Yeah, you just always felt compelled to write. And, right, I did. So. And then you began performing and Correct. kind of, yeah, yeah. How do you describe your music generally? I would say world music. Now, yeah, you know? I th yeah. I think before, through the years, I could have put it in a genre because of what I was into at the time. Yeah. And now it's become just a blend of everything that I put uh, that I've done before and yeah. heard and listened to. Mm -hmm. So. And you have a bass player that y'all work with sometimes. We do. He sits yeah. in here and there. Yeah. But it's mm -hmm. predominantly him and I, you know. Well, the last time I saw y'all at uh, Dan Silverleaf, you had an artist also. I thought that was... We did. We did. He performs with y'all at some oh, yeah. shows. Yeah, Orlando, yeah. He sits yeah. in when, whenever he's available. You know, he's the, our go-to artist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was really good. I, I like something like that. Um, the... Um, um, let's see, we can cut some of this out, I guess. Went totally blank. Um, were there certain things you guys wanted to um, talk about to, to bring up? Um, well, as far as what we have planned for the plan, future, yeah. that, you have, that we haven't, uh, that nobody, I guess, isn't out yet, is we are, we are recording in August for two days. I'm sorry, not August, in July for two mm -hmm. days and hoping to complete two or three songs that we'll be able to um, give out to radio stations, yeah. local stations. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we are recording in August. We're going to take the entire month of August to sit down and really put that, put, the al put an album together. Oh, really? And um, Where are y'all recording? In Baytown, Texas. Really? Right. We, we got invited there um, free of charge, thank God. That's kind of what we were waiting for. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully by the end of the year we'll have something to hand out. Yeah. S solid, more of what we're, we're we're trying to present. Yeah. Because the live album is a lot of improv. 
Yeah. And even now today when we perform, we have, I would say we improv with 30, 40% of it. Right. I mean, yeah. it just keeps developing. So. Yeah, kind yeah. of an organic thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. I, I like that approach to music for sure. I think that allows things to grow and develop and, and take you somewhere. Right. right. Keeps us uh, excited about it. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing where it's going to go ever, so. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what inspires you to write songs mainly? Yeah. Uh, for me, I don't, I don't know if I have one certain thing, you know. I'm one of those people that can fall in love with almost anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... You, you have a concern about, um, <clears throat> the global problem of, um, of economics, of, like, uh, so many, the struggles of so many poor people and, and then so much wealth in a world. It seems like that comes through in your lyrics. It, it seems that way, but I think for the most part, I, um, would consider the stuff that I write more like a torch for people who see riches in a different light. Yeah. Not necessarily see it just financially, but yeah, they they see it, you know, just in they they could you could be rich through experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, through, uh, I mean, through anything, you know. So oh, I, sure. I'm, I'm I consider it more like a torch for people who are already um, on their feet and strong. Yeah. On those views, you know. Yeah. I mean, I definitely have a concern about that. Always, you know. Yeah. And it's always, you know, I, I recognize it when it's there, and it definitely, you know, sparks something inside of me when I see it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. We try to inspire people who are like entrepreneurs or who are going their own way, who are <clears throat> artists, and they're trying to find, you know, ways of expressing themselves that's like really unique. Yeah. And so we try to be kind of like a voice for like people who are who are doing um, something that's different from, from everyone around them yeah. and try to inspire those people and be kind of a part of what they're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that uh, show I saw y'all do at Dan's, that was some kind of, it was a benefit as well, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, like help to cause or something like right. that? Yeah. Yeah. We try to get involved with as, ma as many benefits as possible. So yeah. If uh, anybody out there is listening and needs us or wants us to perform it, anything that has to do with assisting other people yeah. or animals or land, we're, that's our first priority. That's what we want to be involved with the most. So. And you guys had a, a situation going on. I see this, and I always like this, but uh, where you had um, artists were selling their works or having their work like an auction type mm -hmm. thing, and then even some uh, local businesses participated. Correct. They, Sky gave away a guitar. Sky or something. gave a guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, putting... The goal was to put or to help finance a couple of students in Mexico yeah. through their college studies. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Pretty cool thing. Well, so we've um, talked a little here, and now I'm going to turn the show over to them and let them play some music for us. So stay tuned, and thanks a lot for watching. Okay, guys, we are Immigrant Punk, and we're going to begin this uh, small set by congratulating the Dallas Mavericks for winning the 2011 NBA championships. Thank you, boys, for bringing us home a ring. Uh, we're going to start this off with a track titled El Olvidado. <laughs> solo hermano habló tu madre me dijo todo hermano tan lastimado Te busco diario, hermano. Las calles 
Me dejaste sola, hermano, tan lastimado. Vives en mi corazón, vives en mi corazón, vives en mi corazón. Sounds collecting waves at the night of destruction. Crashes in the movements, unordered by the genius programmed to shipwreck. Nobody can escape this. Stop culling in the rims of a spiral. This is a place where essence is divided into seconds, exchanged for dollars and cents. If you don't pay attention, you pour your wine into someone else's hand. Don't spill it. You never feel emptiness. Some spend their lives bound on a half-empty cup. Suck straight from the tips of their mother's tits, and they bitch about how life sucks. Then there are the eyes. Then there are those eyes. Then there are the eyes who crashed along with it, licking corners of the surface, collecting an identity. Chipping rocks off mountains to get through it. If you went around and meant you never went in it. So which one was it? Which is the suit that you wore just before you got sucked by the spirals of this flaw? Se llama lo olvidado. La vida está por limitado. Camina con frío. El esqueleto con frío. Nadie puede escaparlo. Sonidos atrapados por el amor de Dios todavía estás vivo. Hoy es hermano, abre los ojos, todavía estás vivo. No tengas frío. Habló tu madre, me dijo todo. Muy lastimado, te fuiste solo. Te fuiste solo. Te fuiste solo. Te fuiste solo. There's a thin line between being alive and being dead. To ride that line like a wave, you have to give it all. Your heart, your truth, till you feel the barest of all the rocks. Ah, you go spinning like an accident. You go spinning like a fool. You go spinning like a miracle. You could spin it like the law. See, you can take it all. If you didn't listen, then you never lived it all. Se llama la olvidada. La vida es tiempo limitada. Camina con frío. El esqueleto con frío. Nadie puede escaparlo. Los sonidos atrapados. Por el amor de Dios, todavía estás vivo. Hoy es el Estás vivo, no tengas frío. Habló tu madre, me dijo todo. Muy lastimado, te fuiste solo. Ay, es hermano, abre las ojos. Todavía estás vivo. No tengas frío. Habla tu madre. Me dijo todo. Muy lastimado. Te fuiste solo. By the way, shout out to Denton, Texas, our hometown. This is the place that immigrant punk uh, originated. Oh, it's a pleasure being on your TV. This next track is called Anxiety. 
and it's um, a dedication to that anxiety that inspires us all to create. you and finish with one more track and um, before I do that I want to give a shout out to San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Baytown where we will be recording this year. Uh, those are places that we've traveled um, in the last two months that have been very very kind. Um, let me throw in Milwaukee, wonderful city. If you ever get the opportunity to go, definitely go. Savannah, Atlanta, Mexico, of course.
change. Mother Nature shakes this mess. Lord knows she will have her way. Be like a child, never sell loud. Get to the kitchen, look at me slow. This love is not disposable. Friend, you were sent to me. Shaggy jeans, lines on her face that show we've lived some life since we were 16. Remember back then? Innocent criminals, boys, stay a while. You got that piece of me that I've been missing for a while. Things are what you let them be. I will fly to the end of me. Things are what you let them be. I will fly to the end of me. Thank you. We are Immigrant Punk, and you can follow us on Facebook, Immigrant Punk, and you can also go to our website, immigrantpunk.com, and we look forward to meeting hopefully new faces and seeing our old friends, and thank you for watching. Lots of people 